Hi class, this is your video feedback for your style guides. Uh, we're going to go through very quickly and just I'll bring up some points and you'll want to uh, pay attention to those um, if they apply to you. All right. Uh, this logo, nice. I think you want to think about if you want a period here too, maybe. Um, I like these icons too and your colors are kind of candy colored, very cute. Um, fun and business is your tone. I like the way you have uh, described that. Your font styles, I think those can work together. Uh, typically, everyone, if you're not sure uh, what you want to do, and we'll look at this in a minute, is uh, choose two fonts only. Choose one that is, um, well, frequently this works, one that is a serif, and that means these little tags down here these serifs, and one that is a sans serif that doesn't have those. Um, so those tend to work together well. Um, again, you want to play around with it and see see what really works. So I really like this, and I think you're uh, in the right direction with that. Okay, uh, let's see. Erica, I like this. Um, and I like this as sort of a motto to achieve, you have to believe. Your tagline, everyone, is going to be a description of what you offer, uh, the service that you offer. Okay, that's and it's going to be on every page so that it shows up in SEO, search engine optimization, because we never know what page someone's search is going to come into our site uh, from. So that's what you want to do. Um, and here we're talking about, um, you'll want to adjust this to just talk about your brand. Um, you're saying fun and all of that, and that comes across. These work well together. And this I like. I like this too. Be sure that uh, you're mindful of your italicized fonts because sometimes they work, sometimes they don't. But I, I trust that it's going to come together very nicely because of the way you've combined your text even in your style guide. Okay? Good job. Brenda, nice. You have an array of colors here that sort of gradiate. Be very careful with scripts. That's everyone. Here I can read them. Uh, here, keep in mind, sometimes uh, that gets really tough to read. Uh, Snell Brown Hand is not as difficult. Um, just just keep it in mind. And you'll want to talk about your tone. You'll want to add that. All right. And let's see, maybe it was further down and it didn't get in my screenshot. All right. Good job. All right. These look nice together. And I do like, hmm, interesting. I do like these uh, icons. And okay. And so, all right, you're talking about simple, bright, attention grabbing. Okay. And so, otherwise, I think this is pretty clear. Um, you might want to work with a logo at some point, but uh, I think what you have is a great start. Okay. All right, Michelle. I think this may be your logo. This is your tagline. Very good. Connecting, communicating, and creating. Very good. Uh, tells people what you do. Um, and this works really well, and we'll probably work with one of those. Be cautious, you know, how small you can go, for example, with a script, making sure you can read it. Legibility before aesthetics. Nice. Um, very good. And you have your tone here as light, fun, and professional. All right. Very good. Little eye there. Um, nice. Good job. Okay, Sam. This seems to be your tone, and these are your fonts. Uh, think about adding a sans serif to these. All right. This is an interesting photo. I'm not sure what it is. It's kind of like a Where's Waldo kind of thing. Um, and here are your colors. Okay. All right. Good job. All right. 
right. Okay, I like these. And um, you'll want a tagline that tells us exactly what your skill is. Okay. And we want to talk, you're talking about, um, you want to be a little bit edgy, um, but with a classic feel and vibe. So, all right. This works really well, this font. A um, little hard to read. Be sure that when you are actually building your site that you have high enough contrast. And you're talking about natural, relaxed, and um, or cool earth tones. Um, okay. Okay, and what you do. And I think your color palette here is just two colors and white. So you might want to add that. All right. Good job. Here is a, a site, fontjoy.com, where you can uh, prepare different combinations. You can just select, select Generate, and if you go Balance, Contrast, or More, Similarity, you'll find some of these. If you want to go really high contrast, it'll get more into uh, maybe some decorative fonts, like for example. And you can go here. This is where it tells you they are. You can take a look. Uh, most to least similar. So if you go down here, you're going to have something least similar to it. I'm going to look at a sans serif. Sorry, Adam. So this is your block lettering, or rather your paragraph text. All right, good job, everybody. Um, we'll be moving on to your personal portfolios next. All right, good job.